right? I hope you're having a great week. We started out with ice cream and we're going around the world today. But we're doing um, a really old fashioned dessert, not a dessert. I keep thinking I'm doing dessert all week. We're doing a savory. But before we do this, I'd like to welcome you here. And my name is George Geary and I have been doing these for almost two months now. And instead of traveling around the country, I'm doing them from my home here in Southern California. And our official photographer, which everybody has been saying hello to, is Neil. And there he is with his thumb. How, how's your nails? So they, do they look oh. clean on camera? No, I, don't, I haven't had a Manny in a while. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> he, he's never, I think he has one a year at the most. Anyway, these are sour cream raisin biscuits. And I know in the South, they're very picky on their biscuits and how they make them. But this was how the Brown Derby made them in the 1920s. And these are in my book. And uh, Clark Gable had these at his 40th birthday. I had the menu and I read about how he had these. He loved these. So we're going to make these. And then we're going to uh, make a savory chicken salad to go inside of them. So there'll be a little uh, appetizer uh, little bites to eat. So we have uh, all-purpose flour. We have cream of tartar. Does anybody know where cream of tartar comes from? Do you know, Neil? I have no idea. See, Neil doesn't cook, so you have no idea. Mm -hmm. Cream of tartar is the scrapings off of wine barrels. The white residue. Really? Yeah, shocking, huh? Wow. You're learning something. Huh. What does it do? It creams the tartar. It's part of the acid for our uh, making the bubbles and everything rise. Uh -huh. Then we have uh, baking powder and baking soda. So we've got all three in there. I'm just gonna take my pastry blender that I got from Julia Child. Everything that I get from Julia, I let you guys know. And I think it should be 110, 109, somewhere around there. Shortening, not butter in this one. And uh, we're gonna just take little pieces and place it around our bowl. Something, oh, our oven's preheated at 425. No, 450. It's a really hot oven. We're gonna just smash this down and you really won't even see it because there's the ratio of shortening versus flour in here is hardly anything versus when you do a pie crust. And this you can all do on your hand like this. So we'll blend that in. Now we have sour cream, whole milk, and raisins. Take our sour cream, place that in. At first you're gonna think this is kind of uh, wet, but it all comes together really well. And we'll take, mix it at first, and then I will put it, I'll add the raisins into it. Now you don't have to use raisins if you don't want that, just be sour cream biscuits. But uh, this is what a specialty of the Brown Derby. Brown Derby, they had four locations in Los Angeles. Everybody remembers the Brown Derby from I Love Lucy and uh, her escapades when she came to California because Ricky was playing Don Juan in one of the play movies. So I'm just gonna put this together like this. Now, I won't even use a rolling pin to make these. I will uh, make sure I get all the dry particles and then I'll put our raisins in. And I'm using about a one and a half inch uh, biscuit cutter. If you want, you can just, you can make these all in one big pan and then cut, mark them with a knife. I cleaned my bench, so it's nice and clean, but this is how I do it. So we're going to take this, and we have parchment paper and our dough. We might knead it a little bit. It's a little tacky, which is fine, but I don't want to add any more flour into it. And you work with it pretty fast. So now you gotta smash it down with your hands till it's even, just like that. Then what I'm gonna do is take the cutter and I'll make the biscuits. 
People ask how thick that is. I have no idea. That thick. That's it. I Very know. scientific. I know. It's like, I have no idea how thick it is. So we're going to press that down and we'll pull them apart just like that. Now, since these are going to be appetizers, you can make them half the size. These are going to be more like two for a meal. Now, biscuits, once you start doing one edge, you want to pat down and see how tacky it is. Don't worry about it because you'll push that. See how it gets thicker again? Just press it down. And you want clean cuts. Just like that. And then, if you want, you can make them right next to each other and then they get a little, they're a little softer. Um, I like to have them like that. If you want, you can also make them to where they're almost far apart like cookies and then they brown all the way around. Now, grandmothers in the South, they do all sorts of different things. Some take egg whites, just like the top of a pie. Some will take uh, butter, brush it on top. I won't put anything on these. They will uh, brown pretty good. And you wanna work fast because as you're working, you can see the dough's moving because all that baking powder, baking soda is acting right now. And then I'll press it down. So see, don't even use a rolling pin. And we get about 12, around in tw about nine. Yeah, we might get 12, a dozen. So I'm, they're a little far apart, so we will have a little bit crunchier on the edges. See, just like that. And that last one will be a little tough. So that's the one you give to somebody you don't like. Who shall we give it to? There's always somebody in the family. All right, see how that's just a bunch of mess? Press it, try to get it as close as you can. Press it down and there you have it. So there's your dozen. We'll put these in the oven and we'll be back when they come out. Okay, our biscuits are in the oven and so we're going to make a chicken salad that uh, was not part of the brown derby. I just decided to pair these together for today. So we take, I took two chicken breasts and uh, uh, cooked them or you can also take a, uh, uh, a whole chicken and uh, shred it. And I just took two knives and shredded it. And then two we, forks. Two forks. Oh, Neil watched me do that. So then we have some mayonnaise. I'm just gonna put that in here. And then we have Dijon mustard. And relish that I made myself with the pickles that I talked about a couple weeks ago. It's almost pickle season. I think next week we're gonna be making pickles. I'll show you all about. We've got some pecans that will um, that are toasted that we'll work with later. And we've got little raisins that go with the raisin. We won't use all of them, but we'll use some. Then we've got some fresh tarragon. And uh, if you have any pieces of tarragon, they're a little like look, looking wet. Just push those off to the side. You want only the leaves. You don't want the stems. So you push like that and pull them off. If they're real fresh, they'll pop off fast. And you want to take about two tablespoons, which isn't a whole lot. And if you buy a whole thing of tarragon, you've got some left over or you're growing it yourself, but make sure you wash it. And uh, if you've got some in your garden, then just pull a few little uh, sprigs. But if you don't, you have the whole package. The thing is, is you have all that left over. Back about, I'd say 1985 to 90, you could not get fresh herbs at the grocery store. And chefs used to have to buy it in large, large packages. And I've been to the produce markets downtown LA where the chefs go, and they have like three pounds of this stuff. And you're only getting about two ounces. So could you imagine all that and you don't use it? 
So what chefs do, and I put this in my sauce book, is make compound butters. So if you ever have um, a steak and you hear, they say, oh, would you like some dill butter to go with that? What they do is they have dill left over and they use kind of a high-end butter. This is uh, the Irish butter. They let this come to room temperature and then they take a spoon and a fork and chop this up and put it into the butter. Then they roll it into a log and throw it in the fridge and it hardens up and then they slice it so you have compound butter. So it's really easy to do if you have extra uh, herbs. So I'll do that with my extra herbs. And uh, then you've got your fresh going in. Now, all this stuff I blend together. And then I'm gonna toss it all over my chicken. And then I will put this in the fridge until my biscuits are ready. Meanwhile, I will take and put a few raisins and pecans in here. So it's nice and and salt and pepper. So salt and pepper is over there, so I'll grab that. You always salt and pepper the chicken. You need salt and pepper for the chicken. And now pistachios are really good in this too. So there is our salad. And we'll refrigerate this real quick. Okay, there we go. And we'll put together our biscuits when they come out of the oven. We'll be right back. Okay, our biscuits came out of the oven. And we've got our chicken salad. We've got a little pepper. And uh, you're gonna cut them in half. And these just came out, so they're a little warm still. You can see a little steam. But I'm gonna make three of them. And I'll just open them up. And what I have is some pickled onions that I made, some red onions, and uh, that's on the website, so you can get that recipe. And we've got, oh, they're so good, the pickled onions. And then we've got, because uh, I'm using gloves, I can take my hands and do this. Take your chicken. I want to make sure it's on the bottom one, not the top. And that's the bottom. No, that's the top. It was the bottom, top, top, bottom. And then we'll do the chicken here. And these will be little uh, appetizers. Sliders. What? Sliders. Sl well, yeah, biscuit sliders. It's the bottom, so we'll do that. And uh, this will go a long way. You can do all the biscuits and all that chicken in the recipe. Then we've got uh, a little bit of pepper on those, then uh, about one, you don't want the big pepper chunk. So take your peppercorn, you want to pull the peppercorn off. Because someone will bite right into that peppercorn and they'll think, what in the world happened? Just like that. A little greenery. And we have our sliders, or our chicken and our biscuits from the Brown Derby. Just like that. Those all in the center. Like that. Stay and you talk to it. It's a froofy toothpick. If you want to put a little Yeah, let me get a toothpick. Nope, we don't need it. Anyway, thanks so much for joining us. Our biscuits and our uh, chicken pecan salad and we hope you have a great day and tomorrow is our big day with going to uh, Kentucky and learning about uh, bourbon. So hope you'll join us. Take care. See you tomorrow. Bye.